All right, boom. Man's got a piece of meat there and a car battery. And we're gonna cook the meat using the car battery, innit? Now this is what will happen to you if you walked onto the third rail. All right, so first, we're gonna season up the meat with a little bit of salt and water. This will let the electricity pass through, innit? Now the car battery's only got 32 amps, but the third rail's got over 3,000 amps, bruv. Oh my days. When it comes to electricity, it's the current that's deadly, not the voltage. The voltage is just the pressure of the electrons, but the current is the amount of electrons actually there, innit? Like, for example, tasers can output over 50,000 volts, but the current is bare low at only 0.003 amps. So it's enough to cause muscle spasms and freeze you in place, but it's not going to be lethal in that, you know what I'm saying, cuz? But the third rail, on the other hand, has only got 750 volts, but the current is over 3,000 amps, bruv. You step on that and you're fried instantaneously, fam. Electrons travel through the body during electrocution, which heats up and burns the tissues and organs. I can literally smell the flesh burning and hear it sizzling up in that, man. It's a mad thing, cuz. At one amp, you go into cardiac arrest, and at 3,000 amps, you cease to exist. Over 30% of the network uses a third rail, and they look like normal rails, but they're not, bruv, trust me. Don't try and replicate this at home.